If you're looking for the best flash diffuser, here's a list you must see. We made this list based on our personal preference and sorted it based on their features, prices, quality, durability, and reputation of the manufacturers and customer feedback. Also, we've included options for every type of customer. So let's get started. At the first position of our list, we have Rogue Flashbender V3 XL Pro Lighting System. Flashbender modifiers are famed for their bendable construction that lets one fabric panel transform from a flat reflector to a curved bounce card or even a snoot when rolled into a tube. Add the included diffusion sheet and the panel becomes a tall, shallow softbox, which works reasonably well due to your flash gun being pointed upward in this config, which already softens its burst. This XL Pro lighting system kit includes a Flashbender V3 XL Pro reflector, XL Pro diffusion panel V3, and an XL Pro strip grid to help focus the light more accurately. Now in their third revision, V3 flash benders feature a new attachment strap that can fit on a wider variety of flash gun sizes and is also made from a grippier material so is less likely to slip when fitted to your flash gun. Rogue also claims that the bendy flash bender material is more easily shaped. Moving on to the next and number two with Spiffy Gear Light Blaster. Want to line up your portraiture with beautiful backdrops? There's no need to splash out on multiple backdrop rolls or pop-up panels. Just slot the light blaster onto your flash gun, and it'll project any pattern, image, or scene from a 35 and slide onto a plain surface. Alternatively, you can also purchase packs of transparencies with different themes like wings or landscapes. But the beauty of this system over similar gobo projectors is you can mount a lens on the front of the light blaster to control the focus and spread of the projected image. Unfortunately, the light blaster's built-in mount is for Canon EF mount lenses only, but an optional Nikon F mount adapter is available for a small added cost. It's also worth remembering that no transparencies are included with the projector, which given this is just a simple plastic shell of the blaster itself does make the price seem a little high. Even so, this is still a great way to bring portrait shots to life. The number three position is held by Lastolite Strobo Kit Direct to Flash Gun. Lastolite Strobo range contains numerous flash gun modifiers that can attach to two universal mounts, a bracket designed for use with an off-camera flash, and a mount that clamps directly to your flash gun's head. This kit includes the latter, and it attaches quickly and securely via a Velcro strap. Inside the mount are magnets, which make it a cinch to apply individual modifiers. The attachment design isn't quite the neatest on the market, but it's secure, and we found it very easy to fit to our Nikon SB910 test flash. What's more, since each modifier contains a second set of magnets, multiple modifiers can easily be stacked for custom effects. 9M and 6M grid modifiers are included, as are a pair of gel mounts, plus a dozen gels including warming, cooling, and color effect filters, along with a two-stop ND filter and a frosting filter. The combination is great for focusing and tinting accent lights but you'll need to splash out on extra strobo modifiers to really maximize the versatility of this kit. And it's a pity there are no available attachments to soften light. Next at number 4, we have MagMod MagBox 24 Pro Kit. The MagMod Octa Pro Kit may look like it's designed for professionals only, especially when you look at the price tag, but it has actually been engineered to be very easy to use. The kit uses a magnetic base for quick setup. The MagMod Mag Ring a lightweight universal speed light mount that can be used with one or two speed lights, though this requires a separately sold grip, mind you, or attached to the MagMod mag shoe for handheld use or stand mounting. The kit includes the Mag Box 24 Octafocus Diffuser, which uses a combination of grid and lens to modify the spread of the light beam, limiting spill light and allowing you to send your light precisely where you need it. Also included is the MagMod Mag Box 24 Octa Softbox which boasts an impressively even light output and is compatible with the majority of major lighting brands. Plus, you also get a correction gel set, as well as a handy carrying case. As mentioned, all this doesn't come cheap. But if you're going to need a lot of high-quality lighting modification in a professional setting, it's an excellent buy. The number 5 position is held by Honol Creative Lantern Kit. The Honol Creative Lantern Kit is based around a concertina paper lantern that fits to the front of your flash and fans out to produce a much softer, more diffused light source. You can use it on its own, or in conjunction with six different colored filters included in the kit to produce colored flash effects. The kit comes with a lantern diffuser, a filter adapter, a wallet in the blue, green, purple, 
red, orange, and yellow filters. It's designed to be used with the Honol Modus 360 and 600 flash guns. You will need to buy a separate Module 360 or Module 600 clamp to fit them. Although the clamps are adjustable and can fit a variety of speed lights, the Creative Lantern Kit attaches to the Honol clamps magnetically, and the company also makes a module softbox which fits in the same way. The number 6 position is dominated by round flash ring. Is it a drum? Is it a spare wheel? It's big enough to be either, but it's best fitted to your camera. When it comes to light softening, bigger tends to be better. At a massive 45 acum wide, the round flash will dwarf even the largest DSLR. But thanks to fabric construction, it's only about 220 grams and it folds into an easily portable pouch. Setup is a breeze with a pop-up design that just requires you to quickly snap five magnetic rods into place and strap your flash gun into the back. A simple web of elastic cord secures the round flash to your lens, but avoid wide angle or short prime optics as vignetting can be noticeable. No biggie though, as ring flashes are best suited to portrait prime lenses with a focal length between 7mm and 105mm. There isn't much room to access zoom or focus rings either, but the payoff is light so soft and shadowless that it can give a dedicated ring flash a run for its money. Just remember to crank up your flash gun's power to compensate for the hefty 3 stop light reduction. Moving on to the next and number 7 with Gary Fawn Light Sphere. This unit makes use of the most cutting-edge speed assembly that allows changing the modifiers in seconds. It can also be folded to an inch and a half, which guarantees an extraordinary settlement and portability. Circle of light that diffuses the severely reproachable light. It starts from the flashes of the collaborator forming an illumination even fragile. The number 8 position is held by SB4 Movo Universal Diffuser. The best for, for DSLR and mirrorless cameras, the diffusers of the Move diffusers produce the light from the reflex cameras. It also pacifies those implacable shadows, transmits a uniform and fragile building, and reduces possible problematic territories. This diffuser can be linked successfully and quickly and is great with all camera modes. It is suitable for most cameras that have jump flashes. Next at number 9, we have Olympus Waterproof Diffuser. Top rated on Amazon.com. The FD1 provides a better diffusion of light, which makes the subject uncommon and presents itself in an obvious way. It is perfect for moving subjects that are close. The Olympus diffuser also has a switch for changing the power of light that considers a high or low return. Finally, the number 10 position is dominated by Polaroid 48 macro LED ring flashing light. The Polaroid ring can be attached to virtually all brands except Sony, where you need a connector. You can connect it with large-scale talent senders and hot shoes with the transverse spacing of the mounting rings. That's all for today. We upload product review videos every single day. So, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon for the upcoming video notification.